Yeah, hi, Jim Orr here with another tech tip of the day brought to you by High Octane Traffic Systems. Now, today I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you any software or anything like that. This is literally just a tech tip, okay? Something that uh, you probably never realized and uh, could be done, and uh, there's all different ways that it can be uh, utilized. Now, as you see, I am in your typical um, like Gmail account, and this little tip here will also work for just a regular uh, Google account. That's a Google account is something that where you can set up your email to be and look like a Gmail be in here, but it's really you know with your domain name. Uh, but uh, right here, I chose a uh, Gmail account, you know, just so I could uh, film an account here without, you know, revealing too many secret uh, emails going on here. And I'm actually going to show you, uh, this is actually the easiest way to do this. This is actually the email address of this, of what the inbox you're looking at here. And also, um, for uh, full disclosure, don't think that, <laughs> don't use this email to contact us, okay? This is just kind of almost like a throwaway email that we use to, uh, you know, where a lot of junk mail and stuff gets gets sent to. Uh, it only gets checked maybe, you know, once every month, if that. So just, <laughs> just know that. Okay, so anyway, this is the email address here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it here. And I'm going to send an email to myself or to this email box. So I'm going to go um, test one and test one, two, three. There we go. And I'm going to hit send. Okay, now you'll notice, just go ahead and refresh. There's, there's the email, just as you would expect. And uh, we're all good. Okay, now watch what happens. I'm going to take the same email address and I'm going to put like plus, just plus one. And you can put plus anything you want. Now, what do you think is going to happen when I take this and I send um, this email? Okay, so I'm going to do a compose. I'm going to set that out. It's high octane systems plus one at Gmail. And I'm going to do test. We'll just call this test plus one and test one, two, three, four <laughs> and hit send. And is it going to come through? There it is. See, uh, and, um, the test plus one, let me see here. And I'm going to show you that it does actually, here we go. See, it actually shows that it comes through plus one. Now the same thing. You could do like, uh, you know, after the plus sign, you can put anything you want. And the really cool part about this, okay, is the, if you were to go, like if you, when you go to other sites and stuff like that, and you need to register either multiple times, you know, maybe you want to create several different accounts on a particular site for whatever reason, you could actually, uh, you know, use the same email address but put something like plus one or plus uh, name of the site, you know, whatever you want to do, and it will still see this. See, I'm going to go ahead and take this, copy it, and go ahead and send that. Test, test and send okay and there it is okay now think about this when you know when you sign up for an account i mean it, it, like i said i guess several different applications you could use for this another one that comes to mind that when you register for a site uh you know how much email are you going to get from those people so if you make this very you know you can make this very unique for every time you give someone your email address or register on a website, put the name of that site there. And so when you start getting emails from weird places, you'll know who it is that, you know, gave them your email address. 
And, uh, it was, and like I say, when you register multiple times on a particular website, for whatever reason, every time you register and do this, this the site itself will see this as a different email address for every time. But when it delivers it, Google knows, you know, to ignore the plus sign and everything, you know, from here over. And it uses this to send it to the mailbox. So it's kind of a way to get uh, multiple email addresses out of a single email address. And I don't know, it's just a really cool tip. You know, someone like me who just does a lot of like testing and stuff on, you know, various sites uh, really comes in handy uh, to do something like this. So um, hope you found that helpful. You know, maybe you can find a use for it, maybe not. But if you do, it's uh, something that can come in handy. All right, that's it. And if you have any questions or uh, you know, want me to show something or explain something in the next tech the next tech tip, uh, just uh, let me know and I'll be uh, I'll look at it and it we just may do it. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.